Yes. This is a picture called binary scooping. I decided to call it binary scooping. I know I've got no clue what the actual picture is called. Somebody else has screenshot, so it's a bit bit of an imposition me calling it something. So I sped this up loads because it took a bit longer, and I, you just don't need to see that much of me going on and on and on. So I made it fast, so I look like I'm super efficient and fast. This is the shape of the ship coming at you. It's it's coming towards you between these two stars by the looks of it. Hopefully it has been fuel scooping, because I imagine it would have done a pretty good job scooping pretty fast if it had been. So now it's a kind of an, an orange paper because because uh, it's easier to do suns on like bright coloured paper as opposed to onto black. It's always a bit depressing, isn't it, when you're trying to colour onto black. It's, it's easier with, with the blackness of space, but anyway. Um, so I'm starting to fill in the... Um, the colour of the spaceship. It's a mamba, I think, and I think it's coming towards you from what I can tell. That's it's like it's got those tri it's two kind of like um sort of turrety eyebally bits on the, the top. It's a sort of catamaran shape, isn't it? So I'm just I'm just sort of starting to put in various different tones and stuff. I mean it, it could not be a mamba but it does seem to have two front parts and it's the only one that's got that at the moment apart from obviously Imperial ships. And this does not look Imperial at all. Anyway, so um, my plan was that I was going to try and talk about how to do this sort of stuff a little bit, but it, in all honesty, it, it's just just drawing the shapes and then colouring them in. That bit there, that's an actual useful technique that makes life very much easier using masks. That is a piece of double-sided tape cover. So anything that you have to hand that's quite thin but quite rigid, plasticised, will will make a really good mask. You can cut the shape of the spaceship out um, on a bit of paper and then do your background with um, the colour as well. It It's super quick as chalk to be honest, although I do seem to have made a bit of a meal of this. I'm trying to show the, cu the curved arcs of the various different parts of the spaceship as it comes towards you. It's kind of warped because I think the perspective quality of the camera that's been used i don't know if it's zoomed in or was just like it, it it's the way that the screenshot's been taken gives it kind of a, a kind of punchy distorted look it's coming gonna come and hit you in the face you're gonna boop you so um yeah anyway it's maybe it's trying to go speedily away from where it jumped into the system between those two stars i think i would that'd be quite toasty Anyway, so I'm starting to put in some more refined edges by the looks of it here. And um, shape of the cockpit of rubbing out as well. Rubbing out's much easier. And you, you can't go wrong with chalk because you can always rub out chalk unless you've done stuff with water in any way. Um, you, can, you can pretty much always rub chalk out. So if you give, if you give it some welly with a rubber, it, especially this being card rather than soft fluffy paper, it, it, it makes it possible for you to fix almost any error, which is really useful. Probably why I use chalk, probably, because of the many errors that I have to rub out. It's not too bad. Um, also, you can do sharp lines, which chalk does not lend itself to. Uh, you can you can use uh, two pieces of paper with a tiny gap between them to create sharp lines, because you just colour in the bit between the two bits of paper. I think I did that. Look, oh no, I didn't. Nevertheless, I think I do at some stage. I remember doing it. Um, this this is kind of orange until right at the end. This this picture because because um, you don't want to have um, your hand in black chalk all the time if you can help it. It's like you get mucky enough as it is, and um, it's just nice not to be covered in black chalk if you can help it. It's not the nicest feeling on your skin either. It's just like ee, it's sort of scritchy, itchy, like chewing tinfoil. Um, yeah, so more colouring in, more rubbing out. It's it's good to rub out as well because it defines edges. And that, like, If you rub out as you're going along and you have a little look as you're going along, it kind of like, it allows you to um, clarify and see what you've got to do next and what you I flit around like a butterfly I do I'm afraid but you, you, if you if you sort of like tidy up as you're going along you kind of oh that's that bit where I did the thing and it makes you a tiny sharp line and then I think I go over it with a felt pen later or something I don't, I don't know but I, I vaguely remember that not being there at the end anyway um, but yeah if you tidy up as you go along it helps you see where you're going and they don't get into a right mess about it all 
it's 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 easier to sort of work it out that looks like side the the, the rear I mean I'm assuming that's the engines at the back that you can't see the engines because it's coming towards you I've got this paper too low and like a chunk of this picture I just had to cut it out because I didn't realize that I was filming and the paper was the bit I was drawing was I think I haven't cut it all out look look at the state of this I'm so sorry uh, anyway I'm coloring in some stuff you can't see basically because I really am um, terrible at camera work clearly but I got annoyed enough at the camera work um, with um, it being basically gaffer taped to a um, the mic stand and also um, running out of battery that I bought myself a new camera battery whilst I was doing this picture and I bought myself a little tripod <laughs> a little clampy tripod I'm so delighted I've been wanting one for about two years really nice so uh, it wasn't very much but uh, that's my plan is to uh, actually be able to do it properly oh look at this point I have noticed that I'm colouring stuff you can't see uh, anyway but yeah look chalk pencils chalk pencils are wonderful things except they break and you must never drop them or uh, they will break every time you sharpen them but you can also slightly wet them and uh, then they become super concentrated color if 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 you're not if you're careful you, it does turn to sort of pulp but oh and there's a bit of paper rolled up tightly i'm not one for using these things they're called torsions i think i'm not sure i'm not french so i'm really not sure whether or not i've got the right um you know 1950s terminology there but um they, they they're quite useful because they contain the color that you last used on them uh so you can use that on the next bit uh until you want to sharpen them off because you can sharpen them because they're super dense like compressed paper so you can shut sort of sharp. I mean, I've I've used like the cocktail sticks and and you know dead pencils that have not got any pencil lead in. Um, but yeah, they're quite useful to um, sort of draw with chalk, but without it being chalk. So you know you're not going to go wrong and then paddle a load of the wrong colour on because um, because you've not got any colour on it. You're just going to move around what's there and tidy up lines and also because chalk is quite fragmented you've got granules sitting on the surface of the paper that next time you do something that you can just lift it off with the next piece of chalk especially if the next piece of chalk is more dense and all of the chalks use like the different different densities like that one that's quite hard and um but these ones these square ones they're quite new they're actually they're quite rigid as well and say so I'd put something on in a really soft chalk. I've got some super soft chalks, and then it's not it's not on the paper quite. It's just sitting on the surface of the paper. And um, the next time you do it, look, I'm rubbing it in now with the pencil, the, the well, the um, the paper compressed paper pencil. Um, the next time you use a chalk that's a little bit firmer, you can just scrape off that nice soft chalk you put on, and with the the firm chalk on top see how I used the paper there when I'd done a line that was sort of a, supposed to be a dotted line um, used the paper to to make the dots to, to rub out the bits between the, the the dots as it were to make them more rounded and less wonky that that dark dark brown that's really wide and chunky is 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 a fantastic chalk and they're not cheap those ones I've had that years but and it, it does seem to survive quite long periods of time so it's not gone but it is it's mostly pigment uh, it's mostly color rather than the binder which is what sticks the chalk together which makes it a devil of a thing to keep because you just put it down and it goes bleh, and all of its chalk goes everywhere but it also is so soft and so wonderful it blends in with everything you want so if you're stuck and you've got something you can't work out you can put it on top and it'll just cover anything how, whatever mistakes you've made you can just put this another this color on and it'll look amazing on top because it just sits on top quite happily but yeah that is actually not chalk that is a pencil crayon because i am cheating which you know what life's too short to be faffing around but um but yeah and to be honest it's it's the softest pencil crayon in the world it's it's a watercolor pencil i was given um 
actually all the chalks I'm using practically, not the chalk pencils, I buy them myself, but quite a lot of this stuff I've been given by people because people are lovely and uh, seem to think that they own equipment that they don't need, but I bet they do. Um, this feels like it's not quite black, but it is. And I just, I always end up when I get my pictures done and I get Photoshop, that, that's that amazing brown. <laughs> I know, I know it's tragic, but it is really good. I've got an orange like it as well and a, and a kind of turquoise green. And it's so rare that I get to use that turquoise green. It's just the most amazing peacock colour. Uh, where is that? I can't remember where it is. doesn't matter. Anyway, but yeah, so when I get my pictures done and I always look at them and think that, that chalk's grey. So I put them in Photoshop and I whack up the contrast a little bit because otherwise they just look a bit rubbish. Never mind. Oh yeah, that's where my camera battery ran out. I'm sorry. I've got two camera batteries and I switch them normally, but I've got a feeling my camera charger, you really don't want to know this, this is so boring, I'm very sorry. Uh, my camera charger's been basically nuking the batteries, I think. I think it's just too, I'm leaving them in because I'm sure that that's, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Um, but yeah, silly me. So I've killed one of them, so everything's running out and I'm not doing a particularly good job of anything at the moment. There we go. Right, found some yellows. That's an amazing colour and I can't remember what kit it was from and then now it's just like a disembodied bit of yellow but it's just so, so sunny and wonderful but I'm going to run out of it one day and I'm not going to know where it, where to get a replacement from. I expect it was just from somebody else, like so many things. This is the boiling bo dots of the superheated lava coming to the surface of the sun and uh, uh, the different shades, the different areas. You know, you get the, the 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 warmer bits and the cooler bits on this on the surface. What on earth was I doing there? Oh, I know what I was doing. I was trying to I was trying to juggle chalks in my hand, but obviously juggling the paper as well. That's another one of my amazing chalks, <laughs> which is really soft and goes on top of everything, but doesn't. And it's useful because kind of I wanted to show this kind of like superheated pink steam, and with it just sort of floating on top of the colours, it it, it gave that effect quite easily now i'm doing the um the sort of the the bursts from the surface the uh you know the uh what are they called i can't remember i should remember that i used to have the soho orbiter as a screensaver i used to love looking at those pictures and this is the, the plane of the galaxy down the bottom there which is um looks like a bit candy flossy but it it it's obviously made up of millions of stars, but from a distance and with the detail that you've got, that you can see in the pictures, they're just, I, I, I tend to make them look a little bit fluffy, which is probably wrong. And, you know, there's many civilizations within that fluff, but uh, it's just easier, isn't it? And it's only a picture. And uh, anyway, so yeah, um, trying to do the lights and darks and the sun. And it's difficult to do like white on top of light yellow and have it show up on camera, but to all intents and purposes that is what that's supposed to be but it'll be okay i'm assuming they're both you know yellow stars they look yellowish might be a light yellow one. Oh, look i'm nearly done that bit on the right hand side just isn't in the screenshot so i'm going to leave it because i don't have that information i could have gone into game got into my mamba which i am nowhere near in game i'd have to go and find it in game and then um arranged myself into a screenshot so I could do the rest of it but again life's too short to be worrying about that so I'll cut that bit off with a pair of scissors <laughs> and then no one will know or even better by using the cropping tool in Photoshop which is it's absolutely fantastic look I can't get that light enough so I keep putting more layers of it on and then sort of like solarizing it oh solarizing it <laughs> but anyway it's fine I'm sure it's all going to be fine it's nearly done actually it didn't take as long as I thought it was. I spent most of the time doing this watch, watching uh, Paige Harvey uh, playing Elder Scrolls. She was running around bemoaning people, um, killing deer and, uh, and fighting warriors and finding ancient texts and stuff. It's quite a good story. I d I've not really, I've not played, I've got Skyrim on um, PS3 but I've never played it really. Uh, which is probably a crime. I'm no, I'm, but I have lots of games I could play. But anyway, I've not played Elder Scrolls, and it does look quite sweet. I played lots of Lord of the Rings, but I don't think you could probably compare, except that you get a horse and or whatnot. I imagine. But yeah, looks fun. Oh, stars! That means I'm nearly done, or I've given up. Yeah, I think I have. <laughs> not to worry. 
uh, let me see. Yep, I think I think that's it. Um, using chalk pencil, but then also pencil crayon for the ones that are not quite as the distant ones, tiny ones, because the pencil crayon makes a tinier mark. Oh look, there it is. It's done. 